You're probably sick of hearing the same YouTube growth tips over and over again. Optimize your video titles to be more clickbaity, but also for the algorithm. Create killer thumbnails so that it stops the scroll. Use long-term keywords so you can rank your video. Post consistently, post when your viewers are online, but that's not what I'm going to share in today's video. The truth is there are some incredibly effective methods for growth on YouTube that don't really get the attention they deserve. Let's get into them. I'm Sarah Nguyen and this is Underrated YouTube Growth Tips That Actually Work. All right, my first and honestly the most important underrated YouTube growth tip for you is that you need to create content that your audience actually wants to see. Well-performing YouTube channels have content as the center of their YouTube universe. They understand that succeeding on YouTube means that you firstly need to learn how to create content that your audience wants to see. And then secondary, packaging that for YouTube with the right titles, thumbnails and descriptions. And you need to get really good at delivering both of these things. I see lots of creators trying to find video ideas from trending keywords. They'll find ideas from VidIQ only and then only create content from what the tool told them that people are searching for. And that's not necessarily a bad strategy, but I found that it's much easier to come up with content ideas for YouTube when you focus on topics that address your audience's fears, frustrations, needs and wants and content that moves your audience from point A to point B helping them make progress, and then validating these ideas with keyword research and data from tools such as vidIQ. My content for your viewers first approach allows you to create a deeper connection with your audience because you're prioritizing their interests and concerns. You're not just another creator in the feed and they start to feel like you get them. You become like a trusted advisor. This approach fosters a sense of connection. It also helps you to stand out too, which really helps with YouTube growth. High growth channels also understand that your content helps to train the YouTube algorithm on who your audience is. So in order for the YouTube algorithm to understand and serve your videos to the correct audience, it needs lots of input and training from you. So how do you train the YouTube algorithm? By creating more videos around the same topic area, not a hodgepodge of random video ideas like what I kind of did when I first started out. Here's a quick breakdown of how the YouTube algorithm works. When you create a video, YouTube will show the video to an audience that it thinks will watch and benefit from it. If you create videos about urban gardening, for example, it's going to try and find people who have an interest in all things gardening. But if you venture from gardening and release a video on your channel about skydiving, it's going to struggle to know who to show the video to because it's a completely different topic. Your audience who came for gardening tips might not be really interested in skydiving because it's a completely different interest and they're not likely to watch your skydiving video. And YouTube will take that as a negative signal for your video and stop showing it. This inconsistency can confuse both your viewers and the YouTube's algorithm, leading to lower views, engagement and reach. By creating content for your viewers in a consistent topic area, it helps YouTube understand who your target audience is and increases the chances of your video being recommended to the right people. On to the next YouTube tip. Let's talk about simplifying your YouTube workflow. The aim is simple to produce and release high quality videos consistently so you can train that YouTube algorithm to reach the right audience for you. Getting your YouTube workflow to a state where it feels easy and enjoyable is key to achieving this. You also save so much time and prevent yourself from feeling burnt out, overwhelmed and quitting on YouTube. And when you have an easy, flowing and simplified YouTube workflow, you can release YouTube videos regularly without compromising on quality. So here are two things that you can do. Number one, batch recording really helps with simplifying and improving your processes. Batch recording is where you record multiple videos in one sitting. You'll typically see people talk about it by saying, how I created a month's worth of video in one day. By setting aside a day to focus solely on recording, you can record multiple videos and have the content ready to be edited for the whole month. This approach reduces the setup and breakdown time for each recording session and helps maintain a consistent look and feel across your videos. It also keeps you in the creative zone because you're not context switching. When you're in the flow of recording, your energy and presentation also tends to be more consistent. Two, think about outsourcing parts of your workflow like video editing. Editing can be incredibly time consuming 
and it might not be where your strengths lie. It's definitely not mine. Hiring a skilled video editor can free up your time to focus on content scripting and other aspects like research and idea development, as opposed to having all of your time learning how to edit and trying to do it well. Plus, a video editor's touch can really elevate the quality of your videos beyond what you would be able to do yourself and it will help you decrease the time it takes to create each video. You can find very talented, affordable video editors on Fiverr.com. I also love that you can pay per job, talk to the freelancer before you start, and it's really easy to find and hire great people from all over the world. For the record, this video is not sponsored by Fiverr. I just love the experience that I've had on that platform. Now, let's move on to the next underrated YouTube growth tip. Improving your video delivery and learning how to effectively communicate with your audience are crucial skills for any YouTuber looking to grow their channel. It's about mastering the art of presentation and information delivery. All YouTube creators, myself included, should always be working to improve in this area. Video delivery and communication are skills you can learn and improve with practice. One way to practice is to rehearse your video content before recording. Speak it out loud in the mirror so you get familiar with your content and don't stumble on it when you record. Also, pay attention to the pacing of your speech. Varying your pace and tone, especially to highlight important points, can make your videos more engaging and dynamic. It's these subtle nuances in delivery that can really make you sound polished and confident. You also want to find ways to make your videos more visually appealing. Without getting carried away and investing in a whiteboard, it could be simple techniques like incorporating overhead shots of you writing or showing content on a tablet relevant to your topic as you talk. Something that adds an interesting dynamic to help break up the monotony of a talking head video and improve on the overall video information delivery. The following YouTube growth tip is to adopt a trend. Now, when I talk about adopting a video trend, I'm not talking about creating videos on trending topics on YouTube. I'm talking about trending video styles, like an unboxing video or a get ready with me style video. The idea of adopting a trend is to look at different video styles that are popular and incorporating them into your videos. This works because it taps into what viewers are currently enjoying and engaging with. It also offers a fresh way to present your content keeping your YouTube videos dynamic and interesting. You could use a get ready with me style video incorporated to offer a more personal and relatable touch or an unboxing video to showcase new things that you're doing. The key is to adapt these styles in a way that aligns with your niche and brand, ensuring you stay true to your channel's unique voice and identity. I created a series of videos based on the YouTube culture and trends report. I've added the link in the description so you can check them out for yourself for lots of trending video ideas and inspiration that can work for your channel. Last but definitely not least, my underrated YouTube growth tip is to embrace authenticity. Speaking of trends, we're seeing YouTube channels move towards less hyped up, edited and produced videos and focusing more on sincere, relatable, imperfect content. And channels like Sam Sulek, a bodybuilder documenting his journey, went from 8,000 subscribers to over 2 million subscribers in just two months. A lot of people are talking about him right now. And yes, he is a unicorn. But it's Sam's authenticity that makes him very interesting. He doesn't exaggerate his personality for the camera, and his videos feel real and easy to connect with. There's minimalistic editing, and he speaks calmly to his viewers. Personally, I think that viewers are tired of overhyped, over-the-top videos, and this is why authentic, less edited, raw content videos are doing really well and something you should consider adding to your own videos. Now, the crazy thing is, as you begin to apply these YouTube growth tips to your channel, you'll not only see more views and more subscribers, but you'll also start attracting an audience that truly resonates with your content and what you stand for, so you can hit your YouTube and business goals. If I can be of service to you by providing additional support to you along your YouTube and business journey, I've put a pinned comment with how I can help you now. Check out the links on the pinned comment and 